So here I'm going to show you how to set up a smart action to make an update based on the workflow action input that the user will choose. So in the smart action settings, you will create an action. This will be a regular update action. And you want to put in an entry like I'm doing. I'm going to update the status to in progress in this case. I only need this to be triggered during an edit. I don't want this shown to the users. I don't need to log these results. And I can just use a uh, simple message if there's an error. Under the action, what I want to happen is to change the status to in progress. And this is pretty typical. Um, I only want this to apply to the current item. So you see this frequently. I'm just using the ID equals ID. And we're going to also apply some other field updates. We want to show the person who triggered this. So I can just use the current user function. And then I want to capture the node if the user entered that. And we created a field for this. It's just called workflow note. And the last thing I want to get is the uh, date timestamp um, when this occurred. We've got a handy function uh, called now which just gives us the uh, date timestamp. Uh, so all I need to do is pick that and it'll uh, insert that date timestamp when this update is made. Last thing I need to do is make sure this is only applied when the workflow action is set to set to in progress. And that's it. I can go ahead and save that. So what I want to do is make one of these for each of the different statuses. And then the last thing that I need to do is reset that workflow action every time. So we're going to make sure that this action always fires at the end. And we want this to always happen on every edit. And we're simply going to set the workflow action back to select with the dashes, which we're using in this case as our default. And like the last one, we're just going to have ID equals ID. And there's no condition here. We want this to happen every time. This is just resetting our field each time for us. If we wanted to, we could put a condition and say where the workflow action always not equals select. This will make make it where it wouldn't even be triggered if the user hasn't changed this value. And we can even add a note to this. Uh, we know we want this to happen last. Um, so if we add other actions, uh, sometimes it might be helpful to put a note about that. So you can see how it worked to put in uh, each of the update actions. Uh, so be sure to put one in for each of your status types.